Over the years, students of prophecy have declared truths unto the Christian church worldwide that for the most part were completely ignored by Christian leaders. We have declared the churches of the nations will join with the man of sin in Rome in his ecumenical agenda that will form a one world church. And not only did this come to fruition years ago, just recently it was announced that all these churches have agreed to preach the Vatican's version of Jesus from all denominations. We have declared for decades that the Pope in Rome will create a one world court system. And now we see that this is old news as well. Still, the remnant of her seed is ignored, even though that which was preached and proclaimed has come to fruition time after time, because Christian prophecy can never fail, as it is written by the Creator God. We have even been moved by our Lord many years ago to declare the Pope will use global warming in unison with his Roman international court system, so as to have control over all nations and the churches within them, using climate change as his main reason behind it all. And as of November 4th, 2016, we see that too has come to fruition. The Lord's obedient bride has even declared for literally decades that the popes of Rome will demand religious laws, and especially when it comes to their own biblical Sunday Sabbath, so as to mock the Creator they hate, who sanctified his Sabbath for all eternity in the Garden of Eden. We've also been called to proclaim the Pope will use climate change agenda to get that law brought to the forefront. And now we see him doing just that in recent articles. In fact, this is what amazes students of prophecy the most in these last days. How is it so many pastors miss this one? We literally have thousands of articles from every nation on earth, every news media outlet, and even every denomination, including the once obedient Seventh-day Adventist church, wherein they all claim the Sunday Sabbath is something worthy of embrace, even though there is not a single Bible verse that says our God changed the Sabbath from the seventh day of the week to the first day of the week. There's not even one verse to back that up. Yet all the Christian leaders declare it to be the Christian Sabbath. Students of prophecy have also been declaring for decades that the U.S. government will place one immoral president after another in the White House so as to pave the way for a Vatican puppet who offers a papal-approved version of Christianity in America so as to give the fed-up American people a counterfeit hero in their corner. And now we see that happening with literally dozens of Roman Catholics being nominated for office in the new administration of Donald Trump, wherein many campaign promises have been made to the Vatican-caged, despondent Christian churches. Students of prophecy have also declared for decades that the 501c3 was a fulfillment of the prophecy concerning the Protestant churches creating an image of the Church of Rome. Yet all the pastors with the 501c3 laughed out loud at such a statement. But as we also saw, the laughing stopped for many of them after George W. Bush signed the 501c3 into law, making every laughing pastor an official government agent with the ability to lobby religious laws on March 7, 2006. Still, even though they once again saw students of prophecy try to warn them all of this, and then they saw what we declared come to fruition, they remained loyal to Rome and continued to walk away from Christ day after day. Just as our Lord prophesied, the churches of America are now no different than the church and state conglomeration in Rome known as Vatican City. Yet even though that prophecy is so easily seen as fulfilled, all the pastors continue to ignore it. Students of Prophecy also declared for decades that the Vatican-controlled court systems will eventually legalize pedophilia so as to help bring their long-prophesied lust of the flesh into a legalized format, but we also stated they cannot get those laws passed without first legalizing homosexuality and polygamy. Well, as you all know, homosexual marriage is now legalized in America. And we already see polygamous talking points in the news, as well as Hollywood TV shows normalizing all this perversion, just as we saw them do in the past with homosexuality. We even have reports of positive news clips of how pedophilia should be legalized so as to lower the defenses of the already complacent Christians coast to coast. There are even pedophiles demanding their rights in American courtrooms. And again, the warnings put forth by the obedient students of prophecy are ignored. The Bride of Christ has also declared the Pope will have to gain control over all political and major CEOs if he is ever to have them in agreement with him when it comes to enforcing his mark. And back in 1999, and again just recently in 2016, 
we saw the Pope holding such meetings in the Vatican itself with every CEO on earth attending. Students of Prophecy also declared for decades that Muslims will be moved into every nation on earth so as to have ready and willing government and church agents to man the guillotines already built and awaiting their victims in all nations. We even declared Sharia law will soon be a part of the American court system, and already we see Sharia law being lobbied and even argued in courtrooms in America. In fact, back in September, it was announced that by 2021, the United States of America will have Sharia law in all courtrooms. Yet again, students of prophecy are totally ignored, and every church that is in bed with Rome have not only declared Islam a religion of peace, they are also declaring Allah to be the Christian God. Students of prophecy have also declared the Pope in Rome will have to get laws passed that outlaw free speech so as to try and quench what God's obedient remnant have already begun to do. That being, of course, the loud cry that exposes the man of sin before all. And just the other day, Obama signed into law certain restrictions in free speech by using the fake news agenda that will help the Vatican prevent any news they deem fake by jailing those proclaiming it, no matter how much truth is contained therein. We even witnessed how the Department of Justice lawyers announced back in September, nationwide, how the feds can now limit religious speech. But again, those of us that declared the final call to repentance were ignored by those pastors that had the power to speak out, and now it will soon be illegal to preach Bible truth in the USA. But not to worry, brothers and sisters. Satan tried to stop the truth from being preached 2,000 years ago as well. And we all know how the Apostle Peter responded to that attempt. Students of prophecy were also ignored when we stated a cashless society was racing towards us so as to make it far easier to enforce the mark of the beast in Rome. And even though we saw the government-owned banks invent the use of checks over the years, credit cards, debit cards, Online payment, auto pay, digital money like the Bitcoin, and even payment methods now where only a cell phone is needed, most Christians still think students of prophecy are fanatics or not worth listening to because we won't preach smooth things unto them. Students of prophecy have also declared for decades that crime in the cities will go off the chart as the prophet Ezekiel predicted, and now we see this to be the norm as well. We have declared that the weather will become a major issue in our day, which it has for some time now. We have declared what the prophet Hosea stated long ago about the animals, birds, fish, and insects dying all over the world in biblical proportions, yet most pastors never mention that at all from their pulpits, even though it's happening as we speak. We have declared homosexuality will be embraced and even legalized in the courts because just as the Sabbath was sanctified in Eden, so was marriage. And so both marriage and the Sabbath are no longer protected or even embraced in Christian churches. This is why all the churches embrace the Vatican Sabbath of Sunday and declare the Vatican lifestyle of homosexuality to be sanctified. No, we do not declare ourselves prophets, for we are not the ones that wrote the Bible. We are merely obedient enough to understand that which is written, so as to go forth as our Lord promised his bride will do in the very last days. And yes, even though every utterance he has granted us to speak that was written first by him, and then confirmed, fulfilled in society day after day, we are still ridiculed, persecuted, declared fanatics, or even haters of mankind, because we love you enough to warn you of eternal damnation when he that gave you life is about to return to see what you have done with that life. That all being said, I have to ask, what on earth is the matter with you Christians? How many prophecies need to be fulfilled before you open your eyes? Worse yet, you call yourselves Christians. Yet you declare Allah is God. You declare homosexuality is a gift of God. You sit in Hollywood theaters to be entertained by fornication, adultery, murder, suicide, and even blasphemy. You read novels that are based on fiction, which is nothing more than the native tongue of Satan. You frequent resorts to feast on everything from alcohol to cancerous dishes declared dangerous to the human body in your very own Bibles. You destroy the temple God gave unto you by smoking tobacco and other harmful weeds. You gamble. You take part in violent sports wherein men actually die in the ring. You make money by suing your fellow man. You, your women wear the clothing of your men. Your men wear the clothing of your women. You paint your faces as Jezebel of old did. And you even tattoo, pierce, and scar the body God has given you to care for, head to toe. Isaiah the prophet spoke of those that would do such things today in the name of Christ. 
He declared in Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1, that in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Now, yes, I am very aware most Christians today have no idea what that passage means, because unless you are obedient to the Lord Jesus Christ, the prophetic symbols contained in his word cannot be seen by you. But as an obedient student of the prophetic word, let me share with you what the Lord said through his prophet that day in easy-to-understand language that even the scoffer can comprehend. In the last days, all the churches will declare Christ Lord. But while doing so, they will read the Bible the way they want to read it. They will walk in the way that pleases their own flesh, but they will still demand, we call them Christians, to take away their shame. But the only way the true child of the living God can call you brother or sister in the Lord is for you first to repent and truly accept Jesus as your King and Savior so as to prepare ye the way of the Lord and make his paths straight. Thank you for watching. God bless.